Is it time to buy or sell SoFi stock? In this video, we're diving deep into SoFi. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, May 16, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 1, 2023, our system has ranked SoFi as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 4.57. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 12.98%. This translates to an average loss of minus 1.08% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 16.65% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 22.57% and 4.9%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 11.06% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 27.26% and 40.1%. This translates to a price range of $3.46 to $6.67 after a year. Our latest daily update for SoFi includes the headline, SoFi stock upgraded to sell candidate. The SoFi stock price fell by minus 0.210% on the last day, Tuesday, May 16, 2023, from $4.77 to $4.76. It has now fallen four days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 4.56% from a day low at $4.61 to a day high of $4.82. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 2.96% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 65 million shares and in total, 38 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $180.83 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $8.52, and the lowest price was $4.24. Currently, the price is 44.13%, or $3.76, below the 52-week high, and 83.16%, or $23.50, below the all-time high on February 1, 2021 when the price reached $28.26. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 6.5. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 6.5. On Thursday, December 15, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, December 15, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, December 15, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 7.5. Analysts have given SoFi stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as buy and price to book as buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for SoFi. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The SoFi stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $5.15 and $5.62. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, May 10, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 13.14%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. 
Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 5 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 10 days ago. Short term moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 13 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 12 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 6 days ago. The long term moving average, sell signal 13 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 11 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SoFi There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.210 between high and low, or 4.56%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.93%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for SoFi, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 31, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at dash $0.0600. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for SoFi. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for SoFi is at $4.77. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. There's no significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially drop sharply under certain conditions. Proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. The combined average rating for SoFi from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 15, 2023, Noto Anthony conducted an insider buy of 108,000 shares of common stock. On May 9, 2023, Rishal Jeremy conducted an insider sell of 200,000 shares of common stock. On August 18, 2021, Noto Anthony conducted an insider buy of 500 shares of common stock. On August 19, 2021, Noto Anthony conducted an insider buy of 400 shares of common stock. On August 20, 2021, Noto Anthony conducted an insider buy of 1,000 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 7.129. Overall, insiders purchased 6,057,958 shares and sold 5,010,650 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is SoFi stock a good buy? SoFi holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong sell to a sell candidate. 
After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, May 17, we expect SoFi to open down $0.0300 and start trading at $4.73. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.